Let the house please be in order. Please stand as we are led in prayer this afternoon by the gentleman from Leek, Representative Holloway, and remain standing for the pledge afterwards. Gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the house, I promise you, it's my last time coming up here praying this session or praying the past. No. Well, prayer is always in, in order. And uh, on a side note, Mr. Speaker, I have prepared my introduction, but for the sake of order, I'm going to omit it. <laughs> Let us pray. Most gracious and eternal God, it's once more again that we pause at your footstool of mercy. Master, this evening, before we ask of you anything, we want to tell you thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. For your grace and mercy that allows us a chance to assemble back in these chambers one more time. Lord, I ask that you uh, touch the heart of every legislator in here so that we can work together for the good and common goals of the laws of this land. Then, Lord, I ask that you go across the hallway to the Senate and touch the, touch the senators. Lord, touch the lieutenant governor. Then go over across to the hall of the uh, governor's office and touch the governor, Lord. Let him, him and his staff. Then, Lord, I ask that you, uh, y'all excuse me. Then, Lord, I ask that you, that you bless everybody that works here in the state capitol. Because we need, we need to work together so Mississippi can prosper and grow. Then, Lord, I ask, that, I thank you for everything that you've done this season. Lord, I thank you for what you've done right now. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do. And as I close this prayer, I pray that you let us all love each other like you commanded us to. Then, Lord, I ask that you bind us all so close that one won't fall without the other. And when everything is said and done here in this building, I pray that you get all the honor, glory, and the praise. Amen. Attention, salute, please. Open the machine, Madam Clerk. Close the machine, Madam Clerk. There's a quorum present, Mr. Speaker. We will have the reading of the journal. Gentleman from Rankin, Representative Powell moves we dispense with the reading of the journal. All in favor say aye. Opposed no. The ayes have it. Report of select committees. We have none, Mr. Speaker. Report of standing committees. We have reports on the counter, Mr. Speaker. Introduction of bills and constitutional amendments. Gentleman from Marion, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent to dispense with the reading of the introduction. Is there objection to this? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk, we will follow that procedure. Resolutions, petitions, memorials, and other papers. We have none, Mr. Speaker. Introduction of guests and visitors. Gentleman from Sunflower, Mr. Anthony. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In our South Gallery, we have a visitor for the first time. He is here with Ms. Pam Johnson. Will you all help me make West welcome Mr. Landon Dixon? He is Ms. Johnson's neighbor. Make him feel welcome. All right, I don't see anyone else seeking recognition. Sorry, gentleman from Bolivar, Mr. Sanders. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask today that we adjourn the memory, please, of uh, Mayor Earl Lucas of Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Oh, <laughs> is it? Am I in order? <laughs> <laughs> You may go ahead with your adjourning memory. <laughs> thank gentlemen. you. Thank I you, Mr. Speaker. Right. Thank you, uh, legislative colleagues. Uh, if, uh, if we will, I ask that we adjourn in memory of Mayor Earl Lucas, who was a longtime mayor of Mount Bayou, Mississippi, who was actually a legend and first African-American mayor of Mount Bayou. Thank you. Thank you. Remember to go by the clerk's office and fill out that paperwork. I know you know that. All right. We'll go to the calendar.
concurrence or non-concurrence calendar. What about rules calendar? Chairman Rules. You recognize gentleman from Rankin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to go to item one, SCR 509, and call it up. You recognize to explain the resolution. That's my explanation of the resolution. Questions on the resolution. I don't see any gentlemen. Open the machine, Madam Clerk. If you favor the resolution, vote aye. If you're opposed, vote nay. Is everyone voted? Is everyone voted? Close the machine, Madam Clerk. By a vote of 95 yeas, 6 nays, resolution is adopted. Next item. I'd like to go to item 2, HCR 49. Item 4, HCR 20, I'm sorry, item 5, HCR 41. Item 6, HCR 44. Item 7, HCR 51. And item 8, HCR 56. And call those up in block. That's 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8? Yes, sir. Is there objection to calling these up in block? I'm giving the members a chance to look at these. All right, hear no objection, gentlemen. That's my explanation of the HCRs. The gentleman's calls these House concurrent resolutions up in a block. Madam Clerk's got them loaded there on the, on the screen. Open machine, Madam Clerk. If you favor the resolutions, vote aye. If you're opposed, vote nay. Is everyone voted? Is everyone voted? Close the machine, Madam Clerk. By vote 118 yeas, zero nays, the resolutions are adopted. Anything further, Mr. Chair? Uh, just one more group. Let's go to item number three, HR 88. Item number 10, wait, scratch. Let's just go to, I'm sorry, let's just go to item number three, HR 88. Then we'll go to item 11, HR 38. Item 12, HR 71. Item 13, HR 80. Item 14, HR 82. Item 15, HR 90. And lastly, item 16, HR 95, and call those up in block. Right, I'll give the members a chance to look at those items. Does any member wish to have any of those items set aside? All right, I see no one seeking rec recognition. Question recurs on the adoption of these House resolutions. If you favor the resolutions, indicate by saying aye. Oppose no. The ayes have it. The resolutions are adopted. Anything further, gentlemen? Uh, I yield. Rules yields. Right. Does any chairman have an item on the general calendar they wish to take up? Lots of quality legislation on that list. All right, I don't see anyone wishing to take up any items this afternoon. I recognize the clerk's office for announcements. Gentleman from Rankin, I'm sorry, Mr. Yancey, for what purpose? I'm sorry, I've wanted to call a business and commerce meeting tomorrow at 1 o'clock in room 113. Thank you, gentlemen. I recognize Madam Clerk for announcements. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Youth and Family Affairs will meet tomorrow at 8.30 in room 103. Military Affairs at 9 in 103. Agriculture will meet at 9 in room 202. Public Utilities, 9.30 in room 204. Wildlife, 10 o'clock in room 114. Judd A at 10 o'clock in room 113. Appropriations A will meet at 10 in 201A. Medicaid at 10.30 in 103. Drug policy will meet at 1115 in room 114. Public property at 1 in room 114. Education at 1 in 204. 
municipalities at 1 and 401A. State Affairs will meet at 3 in room 402. Ways and Means will meet after adjournment tomorrow in 201H. Rules will meet after adjournment tomorrow in the Rules Committee room. Jed A will meet five minutes after adjournment tomorrow in room 113. County Affairs, five minutes after adjournment tomorrow in 401A. Marine Resources will meet 10 minutes after adjournment in room 114. I see several of you chairmen seeking recognition. Just by way of information, I anticipate we will gavel in in the morning at 10 and recess until probably 1.30 to be sure somebody doesn't need to call a meeting that's not already called. So we will actually gavel in at 10 in the morning. You'll be here for committee meetings anyway. We'll probably recess until 1.30 in case the chairman needs to call a meeting before we leave for the day. So know that in your planning. Gentleman from Grenada, Mr. Horan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, you said we'll gavel back in at 1.30 after lunch, somewhere along that time. I'm going to call Judd B. Uh, immediately after business and commerce in 113, somewhere around 1, 1, 115, something like that. Short business. I got you. Just know when you're calling the meetings, we will recess at 10 and we will adjourn probably around 130. Thank gotcha. you. I called Judd B. at 115 and 113. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Gentleman from Warren, Mr. Ford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Accountability needs to meet tomorrow at 11 o'clock in our usual room. Gentleman from Hines, Mr. Bell. This is adjourned in memory, Mr. Speaker. You're recognized. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the House, please uh, adjourn in memory of the first African American female trooper, Ms. Felicia Breeland, who passed away on yesterday. Thank you. Thank you, General. We will do that. Gentleman from Hines, Mr. Banks. I adjourn the memory of Mr. Speaker. I will do the paperwork, but I'd like to adjourn the memory of uh, Joe Lewis, who was a Hines County Justice Court judge who uh, left us yesterday on Easter morning. Thank you. Gentleman from Sunflower, Mr. Anthony. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, youth and family will not meet at 8.30, but we may have to call a meeting, so, but we won't be at 8.30. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Lady from Forest, Ms. McGee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I apologize, but did um, Medicaid get called for tomorrow at 1030? Okay, I apologize. I just missed it. Medicaid at, at 1030 in room 103. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Gentleman from DeSoto, Mr. Eubanks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, just a reminder that we will have our capital prayer group tomorrow. I was going to pull an April Fool's joke and say we had somebody big like Franklin Graham or somebody coming, but... but uh, it's always good when you're with fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, so I'd invite you to come out since we've got to be here early anyways. 8.30 in room 214. Gentleman from Lamar, Mr. McCarty. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I believe education was announced for 1 o'clock, but it actually needs to be 1.15. If we could move it to 1.15. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, I don't see anyone else seeking recognition. I will recognize the gentleman from Rankin for the motion. I move that the House stand adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Gentlemen's motion is the House stand adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow. If you favor that motion in the case of saying aye, opposed no, the ayes have it. The House will stand adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow.